so this is weird I am out for the first time since a week before lockdown I am totally out of breath just from walking didn't realise how much my health had deteriorated I've got my mask what my daughter lent me there aren't many people about um, I thought because lockdown had been eased there'd be quite a few people but there isn't um, yeah it seems strange being outside and not being just in the garden or in the house but yeah we'll see what I can find today at the charity shops that's if they're open <laughs> there will be an update on that shortly see you soon number one wish me luck Pete nice beer Julie <laughs> so the first one staff were lovely they'd actually missed me made sure we were okay which is cool um, now I only bought one thing there wasn't much in there so I'm going to go now and go to Age UK um, it looks like British Heart Foundation or British Red Cross I can't remember which one it is it's still shut so fingers crossed next one Right, this is my last one because the other ones are all shut still, unfortunately. But so far, so good. So, everywhere I went today, um, there was hand sanitizers, in the, hand sanitizer in the doors. So, I took some disposable gloves and didn't actually use them because there was no point. I didn't feel there was any point. I felt a bit paranoid because... I had a mask on and nobody else did but better to protect you and your family than be going with the crowd I'd say at the moment um, but yeah there was only three shops open two of them are still closed which I was a bit disappointed because I was looking forward to going in those two in particular but they'll open when they reopen it's just the way of the world at the moment um, I haven't spent a great deal of money I've spent about 20 quid but when I get home and get all cleaned up and get everything sanitised I will do a little video to show you what I bought and how much for um, it's nothing majorly exciting a um, bit disappointed to be honest with what's out there but I suppose they are a lot of places I heard them saying that they aren't taking stock at the minute they aren't taking donations which is right in this climate so yeah We'll just see how life carries on from here but yeah my, me and my husband chatted and we we're like he was like you need to get out of the house you need to get out of the house even if it's just for a walk and nothing's open just to see what it's like out there and not be frightened and do you know what it's been really good and I usually hate going out on my own I get really anxious and I haven't even though all this is going on so happy days <laughs> now onto my boing in sorry pulling funny faces because I'm like holding it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and um, yeah back home now had a bath because I felt disgusting after being out it was really warm outside Um it was weird because it was like even the hand sanitizer was given at the shops I felt like I couldn't touch my face and get rid of the sweat and I was just like oh my god I need to go home and have a bath so that's what I've done and then I have showed my hubby what I've got, spoke to him about how it was outside. Now he has gone to see what he can buy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. You can probably tell that being outside has done me the world of good. Um, like I said in my videos, I took a mask, I took hand sanitizer. The shops don't hand sanitizer anywhere. I had tissues in my bag, I also had gloves just in case, disposable ones. Don't like using them because they're bad for the environment, but when needs must. Right, so I'm going to talk you through what I bought. There are some exciting bits actually. I played it down a little bit when I was walking back. But um, yeah, I'm happy with what I've got. I think I've got some really interesting things. No massive labels, but some good stuff anyway. The first one I went in was the Dove House, which I recorded me going into. Um, I didn't do any recordings in the shops because there was that little people about and there was lots of staff. I didn't want them to 
either tell me off or feel uncomfortable with me recording or whatever. It was bad enough everyone was looking at me weird wearing a mask without me doing that, so I didn't record it. As things settle down and more people go into shops, I will start recording what I'm doing. But I got this from Dove House, £2.50, size 14, a vintage. Oh, I'm always excited when I find vintage Laura Ashley. Finish Laura Ashley top. Um, it's lovely this, really nice. Um, very unique looking. It has beads around it. And I checked while I was in the shop because I had plenty of time because I was taking my time today and um, that all the beads were there and they are. You see them? They're like little, hang on, let's see if I can get them. Little bronze beads all over. Just, it's just really pretty. It's fully lined, clean, lovely. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to put this on because it's a nice, I don't know what material it is, let me have a look. It's a nice summery top. It's linen, excellent, with an acetate, is it acetate, acetate, I don't know, lining. But anyway, nice cool summer top, should sell quite quickly. I'm probably going to put it on for 30, 25 to 30 or best offer, I think that's a good start. Then I went to, as you saw before, this part, the Age UK, and I bought this, three ninety nine. Coast is usually really overpriced for me, so I don't touch it. But this is a Coast, size 16, and it's like a jumper with like an, a mesh, mesh shoulders, and yeah like a lace big chunky lace textured look how lovely that is top it's a gorgeous color it's like a burgundy um can't see anything wrong with it so i don't understand why it was so cheap but yeah it's really pretty so i'm probably going to put this on again 30 pound see what happens then same shop 4.99 from age uk this is a 12 regular burden tunic looks like it hasn't been worn very pretty very nice and light for this lovely hot weather if it was a bit bigger i would wear it myself and keep it i think it's really pretty it's quite um i don't know what the word is for this but yeah it's nice it's light it's airy it's breezy i'll probably put this on for 30 30 to 35 take a best offer I'm excited about this one. Um, I'm showing you my best stuff first in a way because I'm leaving my pound shop stuff last. But this I paid a little bit more for. I paid $7.99 for this from Age UK. It's Moxia London. Now we've looked at the comps on this and they're all right. But the shop, these dresses can go anywhere from 200 to 400 pound each. And this is really unique. I bought it because I really liked the fabric and the ladies all over it. It's very pin-up. It's like a flared pleated skirt with ladies all over it, like pin-up ladies in the 40s, 50s. It's really cool. Quite rockabilly style, three-quarter length sleeve with the lovely turn-up, zip back, size small. Not too bothered when it's this nice. I'm going to weigh them high with this one probably about 50 pound maybe a little bit more see what happens put a best offer on it but i am excited about that i think it's really nice didn't want to leave it behind so i'm glad that i made the choice to get it right so the rest of this stuff is from the crown shop we have a dove house outlet which i filmed myself going into it was the last one because there was only three open when i went i'm hoping there might be more open when hubby goes well it'll be there now um, and see you know see if anything's opened later I got back here just before 11 so some shops are opening at 11 aren't they so right so this was a pound it is Wallace size 12 and it's a lovely lace covered formal occasion dress for a pound you can't go wrong can you I'll probably get about 20 to 30 pound for that I think it's really nice so I was quite chuffed with that one. <coughs> I've had this brand before. Again, it was a pound. Itchy or Aichi or I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's a bit dusty. Um, extra small. Now again, this is very Carol Baskin. It's the leopard print. It looks brand new. Looks like it hasn't been worn. Um, thinking about £20 for this. 
it's nice it's like a velvety textured if you can see i think you can on the camera it's lovely like uh it's like a brown color it's got a cut out like keyhole back yeah i think that's pretty cool for a quid this i couldn't believe it felt it knew it was something special it's only it's rocha john rocha size twi size 14 sorry like a peach color but it's like a really like lag and look oversized long very soft and fluffy cardigan with a tie front can't see anything particularly wrong with it so i don't know how it's ended up in the pound shop in the clearance but when i looked at the material it has 39% nylon 31% acrylic and 30% mohair now mohair sells people get mohair if you see it <laughs> this is just it's just really cute i would wear it myself if it wasn't this color but it is a quite a popular color i'd say just because i don't like it doesn't mean it's not cool i think that's really nice i'm gonna put that on probably for about 30 pound not bad for a pound shop find right i bought a couple of pairs of boots and a couple of pairs of shoes so i'm gonna show you the shoes first these are clark's collection shoes maybe a little bit on the boring side but i don't care they'll fetch the money nice block heel hardly worn at all they just need a clean up really nice and uh, they are size 7d 7d there you go these are cool i like these they're only a pound you can't go wrong for clark shoes that have hardly been worn for a pound good condition the toes are lovely i think they are great so yeah i'm gonna make some good money on those then i got these boots nice three four inch heel um they are a size 37 which is quite small um i can't remember what a 37 is is it a three or a four might even be a, no it's not a five i don't think it's a five anyway they've got a lovely zip they're like a burgundy colour. They look like they've hardly been worn. Again, they don't really have any wear to them whatsoever, apart from on the bottom there. Um, the heel's in good nick. Toes are good. I think these probably will go for around the £30 mark. I think they're nice. Somebody will love those when the weather gets a bit cooler. Yeah, not bad for a pound. Now, my favourite find of today... Apart from the dress with all the pin-ups on, is these. It's got to be these because they only cost me a pound. They're so unique. They are like Victorian style leather style lace up boots, knee highs. Look at those. They have not been worn from what I can see. Maybe stepped about in. Oh, they have. They have been worn. The heel's gone a little bit. But apart from that, they're great. Oh, and they've got a zip up side as well. So the, the lace is actually just a detailing and they've got a zip up the side. They are red. They are fantastic. I think these might go for quite a good amount of money. I'm probably going to aim high with them to start with. They're really clean. They're just lovely. I can't believe I found these for a pound. <laughs> I only come across them by accident as well. I literally kicked one of the boots and thought, what the hell was that? And I looked down and it was these. Meant for me, I'm telling you. Um, they are a size six apparently, which is my size. But I think I'd look a bit weird wearing these with the clothes I wear. I don't think they'd go. But they are fantastic. <laughs> really unique. I just love them. So I need to find all the right keywords for those. I'm going to bang them on probably for £50. Pound. Or nearest offer see what happens I think they are lush they're just great aren't they one pound for them anyway thank you for joining me on my really long video and joining me my first day back out in civilization and uh, seeing what it's like out there I will be doing a video soon on keywords to help you sell your things on eBay faster and get more traffic through your listings, which is really important to sell your stuff. But yeah, thanks guys. Um, I'll be listing these later. I'm really excited. Join me um, on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe, like, 
come back for more content i'm trying to do as many videos as i can with actual value so thanks for watching and i will see you all soon bye bye